So today I'm going to be trying to recreate this fill out the blank application which I have written in JavaScript and I'm going to try to recreate that in Go. The thing is that I've never programmed in Go before. So the video today is just going to be the process of me learning Go because I thought Go was a pretty cool language and I kind of wanted to learn it and also wanted to make this into a series where I try to recreate maybe not this specific code here but a JavaScript program and recreate that in a different language which I don't know. So the application which we are going to be trying to recreate today Today is just a basic fill out the blanks application. So I require prompts and I take how old are you, what's your favorite animal, what's your favorite activity to do with your animal, and your favorite drink. And then I create this story here. And uh, if we just run it, you type your age, press enter, and you know, so on and so on. And then you will create a story. I think you get the point. Okay. Don't think there's anything else to say other than let's get started. And after seeing that the hello world program works, now I'm going and recreating the hello world code in a new folder called fill out the blanks. So right now I'm just copying the code from the JavaScript and trying to recreate that in the Go code. So now I've set up the basic print, which is going to print out the story.
And now you can see I've gotten all of the questions working and I thought that this would be it and that would be very simple. But you can see that there's a issue that the answer that I have written is overflowing into another question. So that's what I'm going through right now, trying to actually figure out why the code doesn't work. So right now I'm just calculating the age. So when you put in, let's say 21, I have to get the value 17. And the way I get that value is that I divide the age by two, I then plus the age divided by three. And that will give me the value 17 if you input the value 21. And now you can actually see that I finally got it working. So now the number is 17 and the story is relatively nice until I get that overflow issue with the activity. And the rest of the video is actually just me trying to solve this one issue here. Because I really end up taking half of the time while writing this application on just fixing that one issue. And in the end I actually just end up just disabling that feature and it doesn't end up actually being a problem.
So you can see here at the end, I am actually deciding to just write one word, walking, and not walking a trip, and that actually ends up solving the problem. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here, and hopefully I see you in the next one.